Hello there, and welcome to another lesson in this series I have going on uh, the Windows command prompt. Now, the example I have, the example I wanted to go through, um, was backing up, making a, a batch script for doing a backup. That was something that I was looking at, and uh, in the other series, if you're not following that one, we were doing all our work in a particular directory, this one, and that there, what I, I just typed, uh, the thing that brought me from here to here actually involves using a batch script that I made. Uh, anyway, but besides that, we're working in this directory, and what I'd like to do is take this stuff and put it here in what's called what what I call my Dropbox. And what this thing is is uh, a folder that's connected to something on the internet. It's free, in fact. There's a program called Dropbox. If you install it. You can have a special place for, where if you put something in there, it'll get backed up onto the online. And you get a certain amount of space for free and then you have to pay. So, uh, I don't, I, I have money, but I, I don't have a credit card, so I can't pay them. But I have a limited amount of space. I can't put everything in my Dropbox. But I'd like to be able to back up what we're working on here. Going back to this one. I look at this directory. Oh boy. Oh, that's my directory. Oh, there we go. Um, so there are a couple subdirectories and the stuff we've been working on various text files and things and some documents and whatever. The problem is. Although this is here, and I don't want to move it, I don't want this one to get backed up. So that's one problem. So I want to exclude this from the backup. And the other problem is, it's not really a problem, but I don't want to keep backing up the same things. So if something's been backed up, I want it to not get backed up again. Okay. <clears throat> So I know I happen to know that there's a there's a uh, an advanced version of this command on the system. You yeah. If you look through this help, it's got only a few things. But if you look through the help from this copy command, <coughs> it's got all sorts of stuff. Uh, I want it to appear in here so you can see. Uh, this has got all sorts of, uh, of um, options and switches and so on. And in particular, it has exactly the one that I want. If you look at this one, it says it copies only files with something called an archive attribute, and then it turns off that attribute. So even if I don't know what this is, and I don't care, this does exactly what I want. It, it moves a file somewhere, and then it unsets something. So the next time through, that won't be that case will fail, and it won't copy it twice. So I need, I want this. That's one thing I want, and it's got a kind of exclude thing. So I can exclude that other directory I don't want. Why do I want to exclude that? Let's look at this directory. Oops. Int jump. Okay. There's 9,997 files. 
and I'm only allowed a limited space on there. So I don't, and I've already backed it up anyway. So I don't want to copy that over. Not under this heading. Anyway, I zip these up, and it compresses. It's very, it's very little in information in the actual text, and it compresses quite well. I made one zip file, and I backed that up instead. So we want to exclude that from the backup. Okay, so those are two things that we want to accomplish with our backup script. Uh, the other thing is um, I want to take this, basically this whole directory, and rebuild it in here. But not from here. I want to add one more level here. I could do this by hand, but I'd rather automate it. Uh, CPP debug. And I want it to build all of the directories below this yeah, this one. Uh, like I want to do a recursive or you know, I want to follow all the, the whole directory tree. Let's go back to where we were. I think there's something called tree. Yeah. Okay. So you don't need Windows. You can see perfectly what's going on here. Here's where we are. There's another direct. Let me show you the two views. Here's one view. Okay. And here's the tree. I think we can get it all, almost all in one click. Not going to make it shorter. Okay, this is, this is not bad. This is, mm, that's not that great either. I want to try and get, get it all on one page, and I don't want it to print out a few. Uh, if I do the tree, if I got rid of one five, I think it'll fit. So what I'm going to do is use the move command. I'm going to put this over in the bin. I already got it there. Yeah. Uh, and the other one too. Okay, now it's true. There we go. Now we can get a better look at what this tree says. So, so there's a directory here called bin, and it's listed. And underneath that is another one, when 32, and then these other these two others, and the one I don't want. So, in the end, over in the Dropbox, it should include these files, these files, these files, all this, except that. That's what I want. An X copy uh, will do that. For me. And it's working on this, what, what is it it's called the attribute, archive attribute. Now, what that is, <clears throat> I might have to split this up. What that is, if you want to find out, every file has something called attributes, an attribute. Okay. And that's like a characteristic. Yeah. Is it something uh, that is a program? You know, uh, is it can you? Is it read only? Is it hidden? Those those are called attributes. And to find out the attributes of files in, a, in any particular directory, you can just type attrib and press enter. Now, I, I didn't supply a, a parameter here, I just said uh, attrib. So that obviously the default is to just go through all the files that are here. Now, I have one here, one file here that's got an H, and that means hidden. And in fact, I don't want this to be here. I want to remake this one. I want to delete that. I've already done this. I made sure that it worked, so that it'll, it'll work this time. Wow. I'm going to delete that. 
I want you to, this, this is actually a good little demo. It's called X copy X beer. See, it, it can't see it, and neither can we. Where is it? It's hidden. Now, of course, there's always a way around these things. One way is uh, to just make it unhidden. So what we can do is we can add, add trib, we can say add trib, and then put a minus here for the attribute we want to take away, in this case the h, minus h, and then specify the file name, x, oops, xc, we're going to use the command completion, we're going to press tab, and fill that in for me. Now, you can see it. There it is. And I actually want to delete that. Now it's gone. Now it's really gone. Nonetheless, it's, there's no hidden file or whatever. A lot of people like to, for instance, in Explorer, uh, have the hidden files visible. But uh, I'm the kind of person that, you know, I want to use this hidden feature because it's actually a, quite a good feature. It's not that I'm trying to, it's not that they're trying to, uh, it, it's a secret. You know, I mean, there's no secret. It's, a, it's that they're trying to hide from you a bunch of junk that you don't want to see. One of the things I don't, ha I never want to see, well, too late now for that, but it's in this home directory thing, you see. You know, when I was, when I used, actually used to use this for documents and stuff, but I don't anymore. It's, it's just too much of a hassle. But it's got, it makes all these directories I don't want. Pictures, you know, that, that's not where I would put pictures. If I had pictures, I might put it somewhere else. And it's it's trying to organize things in a way that it thinks I think, but I don't think the way it thinks. So we're we're kind of at odds. So I forgot I said to myself, okay, forget the home directory. Uh, I'll just make my own place and when I do my own thing, it can pretend it's managing my information. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, what I, when I was using this thing, what I would do with something like pictures is make it hidden, so then I wouldn't see it in the listing, and that was that was great. Videos, you know, I didn't want pictures and videos on the same level. I'd get rid of all this junk, you know, and then the, it looked visibly anyway, nice and clean. So I, I I never like I never turn that show hidden things on. I know they're there. I know I can see them when I need them and I keep them off. I mean, I use the feature to my advantage. Now, um, so where were we? We managed to get rid of a file, and now I showed you this attribute thing. And here they are. I'll show you a few other attributes that you've probably heard before and uh, didn't realize you could turn them on and off. One of them is called S. So let's take this stack.txt. I'm going to add an S attribute to it. Now I take that to it. Now it's got an S. <clears throat> that little S there indicates to, the, to us and to the system that this is now a system file. So it, uh, if the system were looking at this and it sees that there's an S, it thinks that this now is a very important file. And, you know, it's not going to show it to you and uh, it's going to alert, cause all kinds of alerts. You try to touch it or edit it or whatever. 
I could also make that hidden and usually S and H go together. So I'll add H. I see it won't even let me do now it won't even let me add it make it hidden. But in fact if you specify uh two it should probably work. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the typical combination of attributes for a system file. And you have you have to specify all the attributes or else at once or else it won't set it. You can clear that in. I don't want that. Minus takes it away. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna stop here and make two for a bit more. So see you in the next one.